Hey there everyone, welcome back to this side of the multiverse. I'm Ghost, your time traveling host. We're starting the next segment of our DLC playthrough. This is the mission desk. This is the mission death. <laughs> Never gets old for me. I don't know if it does oh, for you. Man, I can't believe we're back here again. Thank you all for coming. This is highly sensitive information. All right, Meister, tell us what's going on with Lilith. She isn't waking up. From what the development team can tell, they believe she should have finished her recovery process by now. Oh dear. Was the harm inflicted by her fight with Chaos even worse than we feared? No, she's fully repaired the damage done to her. As far as we can see, her systems are fine. Which means it's an issue with Lil and her... Currently, we believe whatever is preventing her from returning is affecting her systems at the deepest level. Aww. So, what's the plan then? Are we going to dive into her mind? Get in there and see if we can fix it ourselves? Only if you're willing. Dive into her mind? What does that even mean? Oh, wait, hold on. How exactly do you know so much about this, Misa? I actually did something just like this years ago. My old team used a simulator to enter AI minds and battle a dangerous virus. <laughs> it was a whole thing. <laughs> and you just failed to ever mention this until now? Let's start from the beginning. As you all know by now, Lillen began as an artificial intelligence created within GB4. This means that using GB4 systems, we are able to interface with her mind via the battle simulator. This technique is known as diving. If used properly, it should allow us to investigate whatever is keeping Lillen from waking up. I get it. Since Lillen is an AI, she's basically made up of a bunch of data, right? So by running that data through the simulator system, we can explore it like a mission. Goodness, that... We'll be handling the back end during this mission, providing live data analysis and navigation. However, diving can be unpredictable, and there's a lot of ground to cover. So our best option would be to split up into two teams. If you're willing, I'd like one of the teams we send into Lillen's mind to be volunteers from her own clan. Especially you, Misa. Your previous experience with this technique could be invaluable. It would greatly increase our odds of success to have you along. Do you think you can do it? Of course. Leave it to me. I want to go too. I won't sit around while Lillen's in trouble. I was actually going to suggest you as well. Your bond with Lillen could be important. While inside her mind, there may be vital clues that only her closest friends would recognize. For that same reason, I'd like the last member of the team to be you. That's a good point. You three probably have the best shot. Please, help Lillen however you can. We will, no matter what. interprets her defenses. When my old team did this, we had to fight a virus in the form of Gunpla. But I guess we're the foreign invaders in this situation, so Lillen's mind is fighting back. You seem calm. This is all just normal to you? Wait, if her mind is trying to fight us off, does that mean she doesn't want us here? I mean, nobody wants to have someone else poking around inside their head. 
Lilin must have private thoughts and feelings, just like any of us. Things she doesn't want other people to see. It makes sense she'd have defenses. I see. Still, we're here to help our friends, and those things are in our way. We need to push through if we want to wake her up.
handling this well so far, Lin. Yeah, in the end, it's really no different from a normal mission. By the way, you said you did something like this before. What's the story there? Oh, one of our friends was trapped in an infinite loop, so we had to go in and stop it. Whoa, you never told me about that. We had to use this tech a few times, actually. One time, it was to save an out-of-control robot at a local arcade. After that, we used it to take down a corrupted space station. Really? That sounds pretty crazy. I never knew you were mixed up in this kind of stuff back in the day. Dang, what kind of life did Misa have before I came to live with her? This brings back memories. I wonder what my old teammate is up to these days. We sort of lost touch after everything that happened.
No oh, shit. These are different from the other mobile suits. Can you all hear me? That mobile suit is a guardian generated by Lilin's self-defense system. It's more powerful than the others. Be careful. So the simulator thinks this is a boss, huh? That means we should be able to go deeper if we defeat it. Great! I may not know how AI models work, but a boss fight I can handle. Oh my god! It's too dangerous. Go back and heal. I was moving as fast as I could and they were just fucking lasered me anyway. No, no fucking way, dude. Come on. I need healing. okay? No, I'm not okay.
God! <laughs> Come on! Where are you going? Cool, and I'm dead again. Motherfuckers, man. Love missing my entire fucking attack. It's fucking amazing. Please target the fucking NPCs. Why am I not targeting the this one? Stop targeting that one. Motherfucker! God! Oh my god, can you please not run away from me? Pick me up, asshole! Jesus.
Oh, come on. These boss fights are, are absolutely ridiculous. And I really don't even feel like my teammates are helping as computers. Okay, we should be able to get into the deeper systems now. Access denied. Womp womp. What? Why? Not allowed. It won't let us through even though we defeated the boss? I'm sorry. The administrator has denied access to this area. The administrator? What's that supposed to mean? I guess the admin here would be Lillin, right? So, if we're locked out, then... And that means Lillian specifically blocked us from getting past this point? Why? Meister, can you see any way around this? Nothing on my end. Lillian's mind isn't like anything I'm familiar with. Let's regroup in the lobby and get your full report. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll think of something. <sighs> I guess we need to turn back for now. Yeah. Oh, Lillian. No way. Okay, so I don't have to restart it even though it crashed. That's good. Oh, I can't believe we couldn't get through, even after defeating the boss. This is going to be harder than we thought. Lillian's defense system does seem unusually strong. There 
There's really no way we can get inside? Hard to say without knowing why you were denied access. If it's true that Lilin still has control of her defenses, then it would appear that she's locked them from within. If that's the case, then sadly, there's nothing I can do. What? Nothing? You mean we can't help her at all? Don't worry just yet. We still have options. Right, Jin? Yes. I know an AI specialist who might be able to help us. He's an old acquaintance of mine. You seem pretty well connected. Though if you're working with GB4, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'll go over Lilin's data again while we wait for the specialist. Something may have changed. Good idea. As for the rest of you, I'll contact you if we need your help again. We may need to attempt another dive. I am worried about Lilin, but it sounds like there's little we can do for her in her current condition. Don't let this get you down. I'm sure we'll find a way to bring her back. Yeah, there's no need to lose hope yet. Meister's gonna figure something out. I hope so. into the next story mission and hopefully my gumpla we came does as soon as we right. got your message did you make any progress on getting through to Lilin? no we're still at a dead end on that front but i'm hoping that will change today we found an ai specialist to help us good thinking maybe they can tell us what's going on with her when will this specialist be joining us it appears to be just us here currently. No, he'll be joining us remotely. He should be calling in any second now. Hello, you must be Jin's new friends and Lilin's clanmates as well, I see. Hold on, that voice sounds familiar. Uh, yeah, so I think like a month after the game came out, they've been releasing uh, story DLC. I'm flattered you noticed. I'm currently on uh, part, I think, chapter two. Hey, Misa. It's been a long time. I knew it! Katamatsu! Misa, do you two know each other? Know each other? We're old teammates. He was our old gunpla mechanic back in Ayato shopping district. He worked for Heim Robotics before he eventually came over to help our team. But that's not important right now. Katamatsu, where did you disappear to? After Robota and everyone else vanished, I couldn't get a hold of you. Do you know how worried I was? You were just... gone. You have got some nerve showing up out of the blue like, like nothing's happened. You better have one heck of an explanation, mister! Hold on, I feel bad about that, but I swear I had no choice. How did you not have a choice? Please calm down, Misa. I promise I can explain everything. Your friend Katamatsu was recruited to the GB4 development team some time ago. Oh, he's a GB4 inside. He's right. They scouted me during the early days of GB4 and offered me a position on the development team. But as part of that offer, he had to cut contact with his entire Gunpla social network. GB4 has impressive security, but the potential damage caused by a developer with their own agenda is too great to risk. I'm sure your experience with Chaos has made those dangers clear. If the wrong people knew he was a developer here, he could be exposed to threats or blackmail. Therefore, he had to conceal his whereabouts and occupation, cutting contact with anyone who still uses the program. Well, he could have at least sent us a message or something. 
We can talk about this later. For now, let's focus on doing what we came to do. So you're the AI specialist. Level with me. Do you have any leads that could help us get through to Lilin? Jin gave me the rundown and shared your findings so far. Based on that, I do have some theories. My guess is there's an infinite loop occurring somewhere inside Lilin's mind. Oh, just like with Robota. Who's Robota? That's the friend I told you about. He was an AI too. When AIs come across a complex question, they have difficulty moving on until it is resolved. The more important the question is to their understanding of the world, the more they return to it. This can lead to a dangerous feedback loop. Most humans would get tired or bored and give up, but AIs don't work like that. They keep endlessly returning to that same question, becoming trapped. So, you're saying all this is because Lilin is struggling with a question she can't answer? Like a riddle or something? Something as simple as a riddle wouldn't cause an infinite loop. She's probably stuck on something that is crucial to her sense of self, or her place in the world. She never talked to me about it. Well, then I guess the solution is the same as before, right? We just need to get in there and help her. But we already tried that! There was that big locked door thing we didn't have permission to get through. I should be able to help you there. As GB4's AI specialist, I'm familiar with the framework Aura would have used to create Lilin. Does that mean you're coming with us? No, I'll be providing assistance over comms, but with my help, you should have more success. Got it. Sounds like you'll need me for the actual dive, then. It's been a while, but you'll want someone who's done this before. I'm going too! Agreed. Both of you should be there. Let's go with the same team as before. Good luck in there. Oh, I just realized one of the things I'd wanted to try out story mode story mode wise was swapping out their Gundams if I could. But maybe next time. just as fearless and stubborn as you are. Hey! I promise it was meant as a compliment. Sometimes the will to act is more important than overthinking every little thing. Fine, I guess. So, what do we need to do? You won't need my help for a while yet. Just keep moving and fight your way through Lilin's defenses as best you can.
Uh, it is from the free uh, update they added. It's from the Mighty Strike Freedom. Um, I don't know if it drops from anything, but you can buy the whole kit um, in the in-game shop for like the in-game currency stuff. Uh, that's understandable. Yeah, I uh, I recently watched the movie and I thought it was pretty cool. So I wanted to mess around with a suit that I hadn't tried yet. But it's kind of just a combination of anything from, from Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny. I have to pull up a list. I think there's a few suits that have been added that are in the shop, not necessarily in story mode, but I'm really not sure yet. Katamatsu, you said you understand Lilin systems better than most. Does that mean you're the one who designed her AI? Close, but not quite. I was recruited by the company to help design the core systems for Aura herself. Core logic is based on his original systems. I see. So then, in a way, Robata is the father of GD4. I guess you could say that. Uh, by the way, oops, hold that thought. Enemies closing in. Keep your guard up. Okay. Yeah, I have um, <laughs> I have a lot of missile, missile options. I'm not uh, not too sure what else does consistent damage with short cooldown times. I wanted to see if I could mess around and have just like a bunch of uh, what do they call it? Uh, the fins going, but those are all. EX abilities, so I couldn't couldn't stack those.
Gotcha. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't tried that out. I kind of I kind of just like shooting things and then beating things up. <laughs> Good. But Looks some of like the uh, of I don't know some of the OP abilities. Hey, Katamatsu, weren't you about to say something? Earlier? I guess I just have to figure out how to use them in combos, right. and I, I would have a better flow with them. I designed him as um, I kind of wish there were other options other than Our missiles that here. had a similar effect. Cause like there's only so many beam weapons, but a lot of the, the beam abilities are, o are EX abilities instead of OP abilities. Artal's job is to watch over and protect AI created by Aura. In a way, he's protecting all of GB4 too. So that's why he's so interested. I'm glad. It's almost like finally getting to see Robata again. Sorry, we're getting off track. We're almost at our destination. Anything could happen. Keep your eyes open. Understood. Got you. Good thing getting close and personal. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, um, before the patches started to go through, I was using the oversized mace from Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. Um, but now that it's been nerfed, it uh, doesn't do enough damage just constantly jabbing people. I've had to completely drop that. <laughs> have to have to experiment and find a different set of abilities and weapons that I want to use. much with the beam axe. I've messed around with um with the mace, which was considered a great sword even though it's not a sword. And Remember then the... it's just a manifestation of Lilin's defenses. What's the other you one faced called? powerful mobile suits uh... the last time you were here, right? Yeah. So that's the guardian protecting Lilin's psyche. The beam huh? weapon that lets you tornado psyche enemies Psycho. for a really long time. I That's can't why it's why called I can't Psycho the Gundam? Kind of on the nose, isn't it? Has someone been teaching Lilin puns? I don't care about the wordplay. Come on, let's just take this thing out and get it over with.
my reaction speed? I have no idea. interesting. And I'll have to look after this match, because there's not a way to check in-game, right? Like, in-match. No, that doesn't show me. There, you opened a hole in her security. Leave the rest to me. Take this. Interesting. Okay. Which EX move do you mean? Because, I mean, I feel like I was only spamming like two of them. And the heal is honestly in there. What gives? Absolute here. emergencies, but most of the time I try what to use those. I'm that? already dead. It looks like a the right one. Oh. oh, that's right. The king grows. Um, I'm showing Lilin's signature the back coming from inside. I think from Mighty Strike Freedom. Wait, Lilin's inside this thing? Lilin, wake Take up! Entire animation Say something faster. if you can hear me. It means less time damaging the target. She better be okay in there. She's put up a powerful protective barrier of some kind. If it attacked you like Robata's Satan Gundam or the Psycho Gundam, you could fight it using your gunpla. But this... There doesn't seem to be an obvious way to break through. This may take some time. Okay, we'll pull back for now while you get started. No! Come on! She's right in front of us! You too? But she's right there. Fine. Just hold on, Lilin. We're getting you out of there. Wow. 
you really carried us on that one. So, ultimately, you have to make your Gundam move slower for the sustained beam attacks to do more damage? Or do the intent intended amount of damage? So, Lilin is still not that, responsive. That has to be a bug, right? Sorry, I wasn't more help. No, I'm not trying to blame you. I guess I'm just surprised that her defenses are giving you this much trouble. You mentioned something similar happened before. Can't you just do the same thing you did then? With Robata, we could directly enter his thoughts. We were able to apply an outside stimulus and stop, but Lilin's situation is significantly more complex. We need to get through that cocoon before we can reach her. But there's still a way, right? Fortunately for us, I think there is. The security flaw Chaos used is still in Lilin's system. It may grant us access. It wasn't fixed? We were waiting for her to fully recover, but for now, it's still in there. Isn't that ironic? The thing Chaos used to nearly destroy the game is our best shot at saving Lilin. I deeply dislike this idea. Don't forget, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place if it weren't for his actions. What's done is done. Right now, it might be just the opening we need. Luckily, I... no, I'll leave that for another time. Assuming this plan works, I should be able to send a stimulus to encourage Lilin to wake up. Then we can destroy the cocoon from within. So what? We just shouted her to wake up? Uh, something like that. Uh, we'll need to send a short, simple message. Anything too complicated, and it won't work. A single emotion or data point would work best, if you can think of one that would affect her. Something simple, but still meaningful to her? Hmm. I think I might have a few ideas. We'll probably only get one shot at this. You should take some time to discuss it and agree on what form the message should take. Okay, that makes sense for the heavy hitting artillery builds. So then I guess it's not a bug. It's definitely, if you look at it like that, that does sound that, like that's more intended. But like, I also think that that's kind of weird because from like a Gundam universe perspectives, aren't like the Exia and the Gundam Seed fast suits that have strong beam abilities, but then I guess... I guess there are other examples where the not as fast suits have incredibly strong beam abilities, so I, I guess from a balanced perspective that, that makes sense. AI core. It would be reasonable to call me his descendant. Is that an issue? Oh, no, nothing like that. It's just comforting to know, is all. Comforting? Hmm. Even though I'm not him? In what way? Yeah, it may sound a little weird, but it's nice to have you with us. In a way, it's like a part of Robata is fighting by my side again. I... see. Okay, it's settled then. That's our message. Uh, 
Oh shoot, I missed it. Uh, sorry, uh, what was the plan you guys decided on? They want to send a message that communicates the love people have for GB4. They hope it will help Lillen return here, to the game world. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm surprised you were able to hear all that even while we were talking. Oof. I'm an AI, remember? <laughs> I just checked the voice lock. The, the full burst for, for absolutely, I, I agree. I'm let down by the full burst design for freedom and justice. It's, uh, I, <laughs> I expected more, but I'm also disappointed that the Trans Am is just a speed boost cosmetic effect. And like, I don't necessarily need to go faster. <laughs> so like, it begs the question of what the speed boost abilities are really for. Because, like, there are some skills that have, like, a synergy with something similar. And, like, those abilities won't activate unless the speed boost is activated. But none of the double O stuff has any reason. It's it's mostly cosmetic and it's and going faster. I haven't seen it do increased damage. I only ever see it do increased speed. Unless it's like flavor text for describing what the Trans Am does is incorrect or just unnecessarily vague. A message of that kind could work, but I'll, I'll how have to do check you it intend out again. to generate it? We're not sure yet. Hold on. GB4 records player emotional response and shares that data with Aura to help her learn, right? We've all heard the rumors. If that's true, could we send the positive data to Lillen as our message? I can't share the details, but yes, in theory, we could redirect the emotional data stream and focus it on Lillen for a short time. Lillen has learned and grown in countless ways thanks to her experiences in GB4. I'm sure her feelings about this world and her time spent here are still inside her somewhere. Yeah, all we have to do is just remind her of what she's missing out on and she's guaranteed to come back. Okay, in that case, the issue is figuring out how to make sure the positive emotions are as strong as possible. As for that, I think there's only one answer. What? Yes, but one small battle won't generate the kind of massive emotional response we're hoping for. We'll need something more. Instead, what do you all think about holding a battle tournament to help wake Lillen up? That should get the players excited. What? Didn't we just do a big battle tournament before the fight with Chaos? You really think another one will help? We did. But remember, his dramatic interruption prevented us from completing the final round. So, we'll hold a second battle tournament, and this one will settle the score once and for all. This would be the first tournament since launch, so it's sure to draw quite a crowd. And if we can channel all that emotion to Lulin... Right! Then she'd have to wake up! That's perfect! Finally, an excuse to really put on a show. The tournament is for Lilin, Mashima. Do try to stay focused. How about it, Katamatsu? Would a tournament generate enough data? It should work. The last tournament produced an enormous emotional <laughs> response. This is very Mega Man Battle Network 4. Plot. That's our plan, then. I'll talk to the events. How do we save the day? The what if we right have away? a tournament? Another tournament? That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> we made it to the finals last time, but we had Lillen's help. We're going to have to work twice as hard to do it again without her. And we don't just have to make it to the finals. We have to give GB4 the best gunplay battle they've ever seen. We'll get that crowd so excited, Lillen will have no choice but to wake up and come back to us. <laughs> 